Welcome back, and in this lesson, we will look at the construction loan interest and fees rollup calculations. So, before doing those calculations, we have to size the construction loan. And in this example, we're given the eight operational periods. We're given the CFADs and the debt service coverage ratio. Based on this constant debt service coverage ratio, we work out the debt service. Then, we calculate the discount factor based on the loan's interest rate. And the sum of the present value of the debt service gives us the construction loan. Then we've got the supporting schedules here, and all the calculations in this example follow so far what we did in our real model. Next, we have to work out the interest and fees rollup related to the construction loan, and again, we've got eight construction periods. We simplified the assumptions somewhat in this example and only got the upfront fee and the interest during construction, so we don't have the commitment fee. So, how do we do the calculations? First, let's calculate the upfront fee and the interest during construction. And this will be preliminary calculations because we don't have the construction loan opening balance yet. To calculate the upfront fee, let's bring the construction loan here and we can take it from row 21. And then the upfront fee will be the fee times the construction loan. Next, we have to figure out when the payment will be made related to the upfront fee. So let's bring the upfront fee from row 43. The upfront fee payment will be made in the first period, which is indicated by the upfront fee flag. So, let's multiply the upfront fee in cell C45 by the flag in row 46. We've got the upfront fee, and now let's calculate the IDC. Remember, that this will be a preliminary IDC since we don't have the construction loan opening balance yet. The IDC will be the interest rate in cell C49 times the construction loan opening balance. And in cell C52, let's take the sum of IDC. Next, we will calculate the construction loan drawdown, and this will depend on the construction loan committed opening balance, which we don't have now, so it will be a preliminary calculation again. To calculate the loan drawdown, we will use the min function. So, the drawdown will be the minimum of the loan committed and capex. And now that we've got the loan drawdown, we can calculate the construction loan committed. For that, we'll have to assume the initial construction loan balance. Let's say it is 500. And let's link the construction loan committed opening balance to cell C58. Let's bring the construction loan drawdown now. and the closing balance will be the opening balance less the loan drawn. Let's mark cell F59 gray, indicating that the formula in this cell is different from the remaining cells in this row. And then the opening balance will equal to the closing balance in the previous period.
Next, we will calculate the construction loan opening balance, which indicates how much we actually owe to the lenders. So, this is the balance that will go to the balance sheet, and it will be the basis for interest and fee calculations that we have to pay to lenders. First, let's bring the construction loan drawdown, which we could take from row 60. The opening balance will equal to the closing balance in the previous period. The closing balance will equal the opening balance plus the drawdown. And in this example, we will be rolling up the IDC and upfront fee. So plus the IDC and plus the upfront fee. Let's bring the IDC now. We modeled the IDC in row 51. Now, let's bring the upfront fee payment that we modeled in row 47. So, we got the loan balances and now we can link the opening balance to IDC calculations. Now, Let's figure out what shall be our construction loan initial balance. And what we have to do, we have to take the construction loan that we sized based on CFADS and subtract the IDC and upfront fee from it because IDC and upfront fee is rolled up. The loan size at construction completion shall be equal to the initial loan balance plus IDC and plus the upfront fee. The loan balance at completion we could take from row 42. The sum of IDC we modeled in row 52. The upfront fee we modeled in row 43. So, the loan initial balance will equal the construction loan at completion, less IDC, and less the upfront fee. So, this loan initial balance will have to link to the loan committed balance calculations. We are getting the circular reference warning because the calculation of the loan balance is inherently circular here. The loan drawdown depends on the loan committed balance, and the loan committed balance depends on the construction loan initial balance, which depends on the IDC and upfront fee. And the IDC and upfront fee depend on the loan drawdown. So, we cannot directly link the loan's initial balance to loan committed balance calculations. Instead, we will have to link the loan's initial balance paste value. First, let's bring the construction loan opening balance here. And let's copy the construction loan opening balance live value and paste the hard-coded value to cell C75.
we can now link the hard-coded value to row 58. Let's take the difference between the paste and lie values in cell C77. So, the paste and lie values are close here because IDC and upfront fee of 1% barely make any difference when it comes to the IDC and upfront fee addition to the loan's balance. What you have to do is increase the IDC to 12%, and then you will see the difference.